Drainage is the most commonly applicable means of improving and maintaining the stability and integrity of the slopes, or for the corrective treatment of slides, as it reduces the effectiveness of one of the primary causes of instability, such as the excess poor water pressure. In order to define the extent of the ground mass which requires drainage treatment, it is important that the distribution of ground water within the slope is explored and or investigated, as the most likely zone of failure. Horizontal drains have been used to stabilize clay slopes. They are installed along a slope and drain in the direction of the slope. The effectiveness of the drains is governed by their diameter and spacing, the larger the diameter or the lower the spacing, the greater the increase in slope stability, as well as their location in relation to a potential critical slip zone. It is important to emphasize that there is no additional benefit in extending the length of the horizontal drains beyond where the potential critical slip zone intersects the top of the slope. Subsurface drains are most beneficial in providing internal drainage of slopes to improve their stability and reduce erosion. They also provide internal drainage behind bulkheads, seawalls, retaining walls, and other slope and shoreline stabilization structures. Subsurface drains are applicable in areas where it is necessary to intercept groundwater so slopes can be stabilized, or where it is necessary to relieve hydrostatic pressure behind retaining walls and other similar structures. Successful use of subsurface drainage depends on tapping the source of water, on the presence of permeable material which aids free drainage, on the location of the drain on relatively unyielding material, such as flexible PVC pipes, perforated or slotted, to ensure continuous operation, and on the installation of a filter to minimize silting in the drainage channel. One of the most important phases of planning subsurface drainage is to gather, compile, and analyze the field data collected through various surveys, investigations, and studies. Investigations for subsurface drainage are challenging given that the subsoil and groundwater conditions are not evident through visual inspection of wet areas. Several methods and techniques have been developed by which these conditions can be determined and made evident through a graphical and or statistical presentation. Some of the methods and procedures commonly used for subsurface drainage investigations are observation well hydrographs, profile flow patterns, groundwater contour maps, and depth to water table map. 